so this morning I asked my son to wake up and go brush his teeth as a routine and to make his bed and just to get dressed and he's pretty good about that. He's he's got it down. He knows we're in a rush we to be out of the house quickly. So um but as I'm in the carpool line I see I see the <clears throat> I see this lady, she had a beautiful face, real beautiful features, but she's wearing a cap, a baseball cap. And as I keep looking, I notice that she has no hair. So it was quite obvious she's ill, quite ill. But the thing that struck me the most is that her demeanor, she was walking. Her shoulders were back. She was totally happy. She was even smiling at people walking by. And it makes you think, we both experienced the same, we both went through the same routine this morning about getting our kids ready for school, getting them lunches and everything. But, and as soon as I wake up, I'm totally grateful. But there's no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind whatsoever, that her feelings of happiness and gratitude were about a thousand times bigger than mine. So I mean, that made me think, you know, why should we wait? until something bad happens into our lives so we can enjoy every minute of our lives. Why should we wait until something that there's no, no turning back to make us realize, why am I wasting my time doing stupid stuff? Why am I waiting, why am I wasting my time allowing my thoughts to go wild into something that's not gonna serve any purpose? Why? And there's no, there's no reason for that. And that puts everything to the right perspective. Again, I don't know how sick that lady is, but you know, to what, you know, why was she feeling like that? And what I keep thinking is, she wanted to show her kid how much she loves her. She wanted to show her kid that despite of what she's going through, she's enjoying every moment. But mostly, there's no doubt in my life that she was trying to show God gratitude for her assistance and I don't think I'm gonna forget that lady for a long time I really really don't but but the fact that she could have shown her weakness during her circumstances and she opted not to because she had a mission and her mission in life and I want to tell you right now I, I psychoanalyzed that lady for the little I don't know 20 30 seconds I kept looking at her is to enjoy every minute to the fullest. We hear that all the time, but when you experience it, it's a totally different ball game. So do it up. Don't wait for something bad to happen to you. Really don't wait. Why waiting? Why waiting? You can decide where you want to focus your heart, where you want to be. And if you decide to just contemplate on the life of Jesus at all times, it all makes it better. I mean, your stuff, no matter what you're going through, becomes this little, this this small. And then all the people around you, show them that love too. Show them that gratitude. Let them know that you appreciate them for who they are, know what they do. So have an awesome weekend. Have an awesome weekend. And again, be grateful for every, every minute, every breath you take, every step you take. And don't take anything for granted. Take care. Bye.